Hi, good day everyone. In this tutorial, I'll make a simple counter app with Unity. Let's start by open Unity Hub. Click on New. It will work on any Unity version. Select 2D templates. Then, name the project with whatever name you like. Choose a suitable location and hit Create button. It should take a few minutes to initialize the project. Okay, once it's ready, I usually rename the scene as Min. Then, right click on Hierarchy, go inside UI, then click Text. Unity will automatically add Canvas Game Object and even System. Rename it as Counter Text. Then, click on Canvas to change the UI of the game. In Render Mode, Change it to Camera Overlay. Drag the camera from Hierarchy to the Camera Slot. Change the Scale Mode to Scale with Screen Size and set the Mesh to be in between Width and Height. In Game Window, set to Free Aspect so that it can resize with Screen Size. Back into the text. Change to the first number, which is 0. Adjust whatever you like such as font size, alignment, and color. Drag the selection handle to resize the game object. In Red Transform, hold Alt and click the center option. This will make sure it centers on the screen. I will move the number to up a little bit. In the hierarchy menu, right click on the canvas and choose the button game object. Adjust to your liking. To change the text, simply expand the button and you'll find text game object. Set the text to count. Resize the button to your liking by dragging the selection handle. Uh, blue looks boring so I decided to change to orange color. Rename the button as count button. Then hit Ctrl D to duplicate the button. Name it as a reset button. Move the button below the count button, then resize it. Expand the game object and change its text to reset and do minor adjustment if you want to. Now that the UI is ready, it is time to code. Right click in the hierarchy, add an empty game object, rename it to game manager or whatever that fits, move it on the top. Click Add Component, give it name like Game Manager. This will create a new C Sharp script associated with that game object. Double click the script to open it in your code editor. Maybe most of you using Visual Studio, but I'm using Rider. Don't worry, it's quite similar. Inside the class, create a public variable of type text. Make sure to import the correct library. Give the variable a name like context. Next, create two public variables with type button. Give it name like count button and reset button respectively. Hit save, go back to Unity editor, find the script inside game manager, and you will see an empty slot that we just created. From the hierarchy panel, drag the corresponding game object to each slot. Go back to the code editor, create a void function named count. This function, well, add the number. Before that, create a private int count number that set to 0 as an initial value. Inside the function, simply type count number plus plus. This expression means Add the current value with value 1. We will also update the current number on screen with number that we just added. Count text dot text equal to count number dot two string semicolon. Go back to Unity Editor, click on count button. In the inspector panel, find on click function, click plus button. Direct the game object. Select Game Manager 
and count. Click run to test. As you can see, the counting functionality works as expected. Now we'll move on the implementing reset button. Create a public function named reset. Set count number variable to zero, its initial value, then set count text dot text to zero as a string. Surround it with double code. Click save and go back to Unity Editor. Similar to what we did earlier, click the game object. Find the on click method. Click plus button. Drag the game object and choose reset function. Click run. And as you can see, it is implemented correctly. The final thing I want to do is delete the part of code that we don't need. These two function and above it as a import library. Alright, thank you for watching.